Ms. Bensini didn't just bring the classroom to the community, she brought the community to the classroom. Everything we did in school was somehow intertwined with what was going on in Geneva. We were at a meeting, I can't even remember what the meeting was for, uh, but she took me to task for the vocabulary that I use. Um, not the four letter words that sometimes pop out uninvited, but just my general vocabulary. She said that I use war words, words like strategy or planning or executing and execution. She said creative people don't talk that way. I would say tonight we're going to debate and Mary would say no, tonight we're going to discuss. Or I would say the problem we need to solve is such and such and she would say no, the issue we need to look at is such and such. My most pleasurable memory of Mary was when she got the Wood Award. We knew it was going to be hard to get her to go, so we pretended that somebody else got the award. And I said, Mary, you can't tell anyone. You are sworn to secrecy. This cannot get out. Well, little did I know, Mary was on the phone calling all kinds of people, telling them to get to this dinner because so-and-so was going to be getting the award. The look that she gave me when they announced her name, I think she could have killed me. I'd have to say my fondest memory of her happened in third grade when my mom broke her ankle. I remember Ms. Bensini made us a dinner for Easter, like home-cooked meal, one of the best meals I've ever had. Mary's been on Geneva Academic Foundation board for, um, this will be her eighth year. She pretty much ran a, a, a fairly large segment of our organization, and it's actually the fun part. It's um, Project Search, which is where we actually get to take all that money that everyone donated to us and give it out. She was different than the rest of us because she was a teacher, and she was no longer a teacher, so she wasn't going to benefit directly from this, but she um, gave us her opinions on things that we would not have known. And we decided to change the um, project search department, they're now going to be the Bensini Memorial Grants. The legacy Mary leaves is her devotion to a project. You never had to remind Mary of what needed to be done. She just did it, and she did it well. I will miss sitting down with Mary at the end of a long day. I would email her and tell her my problems, and Mary would always show up and give me a hug, come in my office, and by the end of our conversation, I couldn't remember what I was even having problems with. She just put reality in check, and uh, I will miss those talks. I still sit there and look at the chair across from my desk and wait for her to walk in the door. We had journals that she used to write back and forth to us in, and that dialogue continued even after second grade, every time I was in the newspaper, a week or so later, I'd get a letter in the mail that included the clipping and a card from Ms. Bensini congratulating me. She was one of the people in town that knew my mom. And um, I felt like um, I had a connection. Um, I, had, I was working with somebody who, who had also worked with my mother and she would um, say things to me every once in a while, uh, telling me that I was just like her. One of my favorite memories just recently that happened was when, um, for the first time, she asked me to decorate a table for the crush luncheon at the History Center this last year. And um, I got out some of my great-grandmother's dishes and I set the table. And um, afterwards, she came up to me and, and she gave me a big hug and she said, your mom would be so proud of you. She had an issue at her home with hundreds and hundreds of ground squirrels getting into her home, tearing things up. So she went online and uh, bought a rat zapper. And <laughs> she would tell the story of how she'd come home and she'd fill jewel bags full of these dead chipmunks and then uh, walk to 7-Eleven, sorry, Steve and Therese, and uh, empty her bag of chipmunks into the dumpster. Uh, she just was hoping nobody was watching. <laughs> but um, Mary is always going to be one of my favorite characters of Geneva. We had a daily journal that we used to write in, and one day I wrote to her that my grandma was coming to visit. She responded with, I used to play war and blackjack card games with my grandpa Calloway. He used to cheat and let us win. Everywhere I went, uh, whether it was a fundraiser or a town meeting or just a presentation, 
Mary was there and it became pretty clear pretty quickly that um, she was an activist. I know that if you go by the strict definition of the word, that's probably the wrong word to use, but I think it applies to her uh, very much so. She was an activist. She was an activist for the city of Geneva. She believed in the, in the power and the responsibility of ordinary people. Uh, she believed that we have the responsibility to be involved with our community. She believed that great things would come from that involvement. Um, she didn't just believe it, she lived it. Mary was not only a board member, she was a dedicated volunteer here at the Geneva History Center. So we want to honor her for her years of service. She chipped in on anything we were doing, and most of the time it was in our community room, whether it be the crush luncheon, a meeting, the volunteer appreciation dinner, uh, brown bag lunches, Mary was here. And she was here with food, she was here setting up, taking down. We didn't have to ask, she just did it. So we are honored to dedicate our community room as the Mary Hogan Bensini Room. So I will always love coming into this room and mentioning, would you like to come to the Mary Hogan Bensini Room? Friend, teacher, volunteer, I hope for all of us who have worked with Mary and knew her that we are better citizens for the betterment of Geneva.